The father of murder victim Thomas Hunter, Dr. William Hunter, returned to the witness stand in the Anthony Garcia murder trial today. Hunter outlined what led to him firing Garcia from the Creighton University Pathology Residency Program. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski is live at the Douglas County Courthouse with the very latest. Jake? Craig, on that very first day, Dr. Hunter was heart-wrenching with his testimony. Today, more or less confronting the man suspected of killing his son. Prosecutors say it's a paper trail that leads to violence. Dr. William Hunter, the man who found his son dead inside his home in 2008, comes back to the stand to tell the jury about incidents that led to the termination of Anthony Garcia from the Creighton Pathology Department in 2001. Dr. Hunter testified to numerous problems Garcia had with Dr. Shonda Butra, including unprofessional conduct and a disrespectful attitude. But Dr. Hunter indicated two incidents were the final straws, including when a funeral director complained about a body that Garcia did an autopsy on that was left face down, which markedly distorted the face. The other, Garcia reportedly called another student's wife with an urgent message while he took an important test. May 22, 2001, Dr. Hunter and Dr. Roger Brumbach signed his termination letter. Quote, I felt that maybe in a different environment he might recover from all the problems here at Creighton. The actions he did were unforgivable. It was a terrible thing. Dr. Hunter then wrote a recommendation for Garcia, which helped him get residency almost immediately at Illinois University, the defense argued. Bob Mata Jr. also asked Dr. Hunter about Michael Belenke, another former resident who was a person of interest in the 2008 Dundee murders. When Thomas was killed, Belenke was at the coroner's office at the time, Hunter explained. Mata Jr. said Belenke was only on the schedule at his Pennsylvania coroner's office, but didn't document that he did the scheduled work. And Dr. Anita Kablinger, a former program director at LSU Shreveport, testified that Dr. Garcia was terminated in 2008 because he hadn't told them anything about his Creighton situation and that he was fired from Creighton. And that was days before Thomas Hunter and Shirley Sherman were murdered. Now, prosecutors and the defense, they both argued back and forth as to whether Garcia did or didn't know that Dr. Hunter was actually the one that told LSU about the Creighton situation. The defense saying that he couldn't have known, which is why he didn't kill them. The prosecutor's saying that's why he did. Reporting live in the Douglas County Courthouse in downtown Omaha, Jake Wazikowski, KMTV Action 3 News. A man